All right, I seem to have offended the entire camo grinding community, so let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate you guys being here. I'll be your host, Shoddy Index, and this will be a domination gameplay on Greece, the new map. I made a video right before I was busy for the rest of the weekend moving offices titled that camo grinders are ruining objective based game modes, and I stand by that. I have one rule in life it's say what you mean, and you'll never have anything to feel bad about. I do not feel bad about calling out the camo grinding community. I want to go over a couple of their takes, and then I want to give you guys one of the best solutions I think that could come out of this. It was actually one of your guys' suggestions. Over here in this channel, I won't use your guys' comments without your guys' permission because some people get a little bit weird about that. But especially when we're talking about people's opinions that differ from mine, I'm not going to ever use their comments and names. You can always go back to the other video and watch it and find their comments yourselves, but no hate to anybody who disagreed or agreed with me. No matter what we talk about on this channel, I don't want anybody feeling upset or attacked by their own opinion. At the end of the day, everybody paid their $70 and they can play however they want. Let's start off with the first thing that I want to take from that video. And that was that there was only one side of the fence or the other. There was no real in between. The people that camo grind inside of objective based game modes, they're going to stand on their side of the fence and say, yeah, this is what I want to do. You can't stop me. And I don't care about anybody else in the game. And then there was the people that were like, no, I don't play objective based game modes anymore because of the camo grinders. And I found that incredibly interesting. Usually there's some sort of people in the middle like, yeah, yeah, I kind of do that or I don't do that, but I will do that. But this one was pretty decisive. It was just, I, d I grind camos in objective based game modes or I won't play objective based game modes because of the camo grinders. And that was interesting to me. Now the camo grinders had a few opinions of themselves and I want to go through that. The first one is that they say that my take on camo grinding inside of objective game modes is insane. So let's break down my insane take on camo grinding inside of objective based game modes. I think that if you're going to go to the match filter and you're going to select Domination Hardpoint and Headquarters, then you should play Domination Hardpoint or Headquarters for the way that they're intended to be played. I think that it's personally very selfish to go into an objective based game mode and ruin the game for the other 11 people that are playing that game. The second that you get one camo grinder on your team that is not going to do anything to help you with the objectives, the match is no longer a 6v6, it's a 6v5. If you get two, it's a 6v4. The push-pull that is supposed to be inside of objective based game modes is completely based off both teams playing the objective. Kind of like in the gameplay you're seeing here on screen. Both teams are playing the objective, both teams are defending the objective, and both teams are having the absolute battle of their lives. The gameplay on screen is domination for the camo grinders. In domination, you are to capture a flag. Then you have to battle over the middle flag, which is B. The more flags you hold inside of domination, the faster you'll win the game, because your team will get more points based off of how many flags you hold. This is how it's intended to be played. How you camo grinders play it is you cap A flag and then just leave the other flags alone only capping if you want to extend the time limit of the game, ruining it for everybody else. My whole point with the whole camo grinders inside of objective based game modes is because you're ruining the game for people that want to actually play the objective. They chose that game mode for the objective. You chose that game mode for kills, which means you could just go to, I don't know, team deathmatch. It just baffles me how you are guys I think it's okay to ruin the game for and a complete other player base. You have a game mode called TDM to go get your kills. Use it. The second hot take I apparently had was that they paid their money and they can play however they want. I agree, but you should also accept the responsibilities when you get called out for playing the game against the way that everybody else is playing the game mode that they selected inside of their filters. But I digress. Finally, the last hot take that I got from the camo grinding community was is that if they're defending the flag, then they're actually still playing the objective. I agree with you to an extent. If you are actually defending a flag, then 100% I guess you're still helping the team. But most of the times, you know and I know, you're not nowhere near any flag at all. You're going to go overwatch B flag, this is an example, and get your long shot kills overwatching B flag, but you don't really care if it's your team holding that flag or the enemy's team holding that flag. If you finish the game with one neutral cap and three defense, you really didn't help the game with your 40 kills, did you? Especially when it's most likely a loss because it's been a 6v5, 6v4 the entire time. But once again, I digress. Now, I have one rule of thumb in that you should never just complain without having a solution. That's why I always try to offer you guys a solution and or a theory on why it's happening throughout the video. But this time, the solution comes from one of you guys down in the comments. And I thought this solution was absolutely amazing. The solution that you guys gave to the camel grinding community that is absolutely decimating your objective based game modes is what if they got rid of the camel grinding for kills and weapon experience and instead made it about the actual objectives. And immediately my interest was piqued. What if they did do that? What if they turned all of these kill based weapon camos into objective based weapon camos and TDM had its own camos, Domination had its own camos, and you know, all the other game modes had their own camos. In my brain, I'm picturing like TDM is all kill based. 
get X amount of assists, get a camo, get X amount of kills, get camos, get X amount of headshots, get camos. All the normal ones that you're already experiencing are within the TDM. Immediately, that would push all of the these camo grinders that don't help with the objective over to TDM where they can just live there and do all their camping that they want, all their grinding that they want, and that's that. But what really intrigued me about this was I was thinking about like domination. In domination, you got to capture flags and you got to defend flags. And I started thinking of the camos that would be tied to that. And I'm thinking like the mastery camo is like a gold gun with a bunch of diamond inset flags down the side of it. And I was like, that sounds so cool. That got me thinking over to like search and destroy, where instead of earning weapon skins, you instead earn bomb skins for your bomb plant suitcase. X amount of defuses gets you a skin. X amount of like plants gets you a skin. X amount of carries gets you a skin retrieving the bomb gets you a skin and then i thought they could get really technical with it so it enhances like gameplay like in say search and destroy ninja diffusing would get you like a cool ninja kind of skin not the blue haired guy like an actual ninja the limitations were endless as soon as i started thinking about it. if they just took all the camo grinding challenges that all these losers are going over to objective based game modes and to get done and just forced all the kill ones into tdm all the objective ones into the objective based game modes the challenge is pretty much right themselves in hard point you got to have x amount of time on the hard point in headquarters you got to capture x amount of headquarters domination it's flags and defending the flags then we get to tdm where all the camo grinders should be grinding their camos and what do we get we get kills and the headshots and all that stuff to me this is the simplest solution to a problem i will never be on the side of the fence that says one player should control the outcome of the other 11 people in a game especially when it's never just one there's usually two in each lobby and if you happen to get stuck on the team that has the two camo grinders on it, it's a 6v4 that entire game. Camo grinding 100% is just an excuse to say that they're not going to move. It's 100% an excuse to stand in a spot. I know that I'm grinding my camos naturally. I don't even think about it. I just unlock them as I'm playing. And let's be honest, the camo grind was already done when the first person gets the camo. He's the only one that matters, or she. After that, you're doing it for your own vanity. And if you haven't gotten it done by this time in the life cycle when most streamers have already gotten it done, you're probably not going to get it done, especially because everybody's just going to go over to the store and they're going to buy the skin that they want and move on with their day, which is another thing I got a lot of hate for saying. I'm never I'm not on the microtransaction side. What that comment was meant to say is that the skins in the game compared to previous CODs suck. Artist subjective was the worst comment that I got. That is the most easy cop out I've ever heard. That and the person that said they're a disabled gamer and I need to respect their disabilities and how they play. Bitch, I'm a disabled gamer. I'm missing half a finger on one hand and half the feeling in that same hand. Hence the name Shorty Index. I also got hurt in the military and didn't walk for years. I only can now walk, but only a short distance. Don't come at me with that disabled shit. I don't hide behind no fucking crutches. I don't hide behind some freaking wall saying that I need to be able to grind this or I need to be able to have this mechanic in a game because I need to be able to be treated differently than everybody else. I hate when people treat me differently because of my disability. I learned to adapt and overcome. I didn't sit there and say blame everyone else and say that I need SBMM and I need to be able to grind camos and I need to do this because of my disability. That was the stupidest comment that I got. And when I replied that I'm also a disabled gamer, you know what they did? They deleted their own comment. Crazy. I find the camo grinding community is just upset that somebody called them out for the bullshit. That somebody finally said, hey, you guys are ruining a game mode and now no other people can't go and play. When domination games work as good as this domination game is, yes, we are going to lose. Yes, we are dying constantly. But you know what? We're getting a lot of kills and we're trying to push the objective. You see everybody pushing the objective and you see them defending the objective. This is how domination should be played. Win or loss, this game was fun. It was chaotic. It was crazy. It was all over the place. You can still get a lot of kills. You can still run your flanks. You can still work on your camos and everybody is having fun in this lobby. There was no one sitting there in one spot camping the entire game, grinding out their long shots or their mounted kills or their headshots. They were moving and they just were probably unlocking things naturally because I unlocked stuff through this entire game. That's all I was getting at in that entire video was that you should just play naturally. Looking at a camo challenge and saying that's all I'm going to do until that challenge is done is absolutely the worst decision to do. It limits what you can do inside of the game so much. Where if you just focus on playing the game naturally, you don't have those issues. I'm telling you right now, I never think of what skin I'm trying to unlock. I'm just unlocking skins. But to the camo grinding community, in conclusion, they make whole maps for you guys. You guys get shipment 24-7. You guys got meat 24-7. You guys get rust 24-7. Those are all playlists designed for you guys to go grind your camos. You also got mosh pit game modes where you can grind your camos and nobody cares because everybody understands that those gameplay modes are for you guys. Everybody knows shipment 24 seven is for leveling your guns and grinding your camos. 
So nobody's going to get pissed off at you for not capturing the objectives inside of those game modes. But when you specifically select domination as the only game that you're going to play, and then you go in there and all you do is grind camos and you have no captures and you have no defense, that's the problem. You guys have game modes and so do the players that want to play domination or hardpoint or headquarters. Go to your own playlist where everybody understands that you're there to grind camos. Don't come over to our lobbies and then ruin our lobbies because you want to grind camos. You stand out like a sore thumb, kind of like a hardcore player in core. If you saw the video, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> it's just one of those things. This is going to be the last time I talk about camo grinders. I just wanted to clear the air a bit and let them know. I know I don't care that you guys are upset. I do not care that you guys think that you guys can ruin everybody's game modes. And I do not care that you're going to do it. At the end of the day, you spent your $70 play however the hell you want. And if your ego is so fragile that a guy on the internet saying something about a community in general offended you so much that you left nine comments on my video, Maybe it's time to quit, man. You're, you're too soft for Call of Duty. I heard Fortnite has racing now. You can go try that one out. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I did a poll over the weekend when I was busy and wasn't able to upload videos. And that poll was whether or not you guys just wanted rant videos or if you guys also wanted to see my Warzone first win story arc. And to be honest with you, I have done polls before and never gotten any sort of interaction. And I got a lot of interaction for a channel my size with over 70% of you guys saying that you guys want me to do some Warzone content. So I'm going to get to work on that immediately. The only question I have for you guys is should I do per game and upload that or do you guys just want the story arc from first game all the way to the win and have the win be the conclusion of that video? Let me know in the comments below. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like, comment, do not forget to subscribe. We're working towards 800 now and I hope you have an amazing day.